Thank you, Dr. Shen. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the Paris system for reporting urinary cytology and the results of our study of more than 27,000 cases uh, with a significant reduction of atypical diagnosis with implementation of the system. Your thelial carcinoma, abbreviated as you see, is the most uh, common malignancy involving the urinary tract. Due to a high recurrence rate, long disease course, and intensive surveillance strategies, management of UC is very expensive. Urinary cytology is a non-invasive and cost-effective screening and diagnostic test used in hematuria workups and surveillance intervals for patients with UC. Urinary cytology diagnostic classification has gone through a long journey. However, none of the previous classification systems have gained a wide acceptance due to lack of standard terminology and diagnostic criteria, which resulted in a variety of terminologies being utilized in different pathology labs and a high percentage of atypical diagnosis, which may lead to unnecessary procedures. The need to standardize terminology and reporting was recognized in 2013 in the National Cytology Congress in Paris. The Paris system, abbreviated as TPS for reporting urinary cytology, was developed, presented in conferences, and finally published in 2016. And this is the book for the Paris system. The goal of TPS is to detect a high-grade UC. It has many strengths. It includes more definitive morphological and numerical diagnostic criteria and simplifies urinary cytology, which has been uh, well accepted by pathologists and urologists. It aims to improve sensitivity and specificity in detecting high-grade UC and decrease atypical diagnosis. It also has a few weaknesses. Some issues not addressed in TPS 1.0 uh, will be addressed in TPS 2.0, including hypochromatic high-grade UC, upper tract UC, non-urethelial atypia, degenerative changes, etc. Types of uh, urine specimens uh, include voided urine, instrumented urine, and diversion urine. Voided urine generally is less cellular and it contains umbrella cells, intermediate cells, and squamous cells, which can be abandoned, especially in females, from genital tract contamination. It can also contain rare cell clusters. First morning urine should be avoided due to degenerative changes. The first picture shows the eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusions, which is called malamed Walinska bodies which is frequently seen in the first morning urine. Instrumented urine is collected through catheterization, bladder washing, renal pelvic, urethra, or urethra washing or brushing. It is generally more cellular and contains umbrella cells, intermediate and basal cells, and clusters. However, similar findings can also be seen in benign urolithiasis and low-grade urethelial neoplasms. Diversion urine is collected from ileal conduit or Indian pouch, etc., for post cystectomy patient with uh, bladder cancer. It is used to monitor upper urinary tract and contains numerous poorly preserved glandular cells and mucus. The Paris system for reporting urinary cytology has seven diagnostic categories, including unsatisfactory, NHGUC, negative or high-grade UC, AUC, atypical urethelial cells, SHGUC, suspicious for high-grade UC, HGUC, high-grade UC, LGUN, low-grade urethelial neoplasm, and other malignancies. NC ratio and nuclear features are the main diagnostic criteria. If NC ratio is greater than 0.7 and uh, meet the criteria for certain nuclear features, 
with enough abnormal cells, it is classified as HGUC, uh, as illustrated in the third picture. If NC ratio is greater than 0.5 with certain nuclear features, it's classified as AUC, as shown in the first picture. If uh, it doesn't meet the criteria for HGUC, however, it is worse than AUC, it is classified as SHGUC. We'll talk about the diagnostic criteria in each category in details. First, we'll discuss about adequacy in urinary cytology. The following conditions uh, meet the criteria for unsatisfactory for evaluation. Um, a cellular or virtually a cellular sample, less than one urethelial cells for voided urine, or less than 15 cells uh, for instrumented urine or the presence of only keratinizing squamous cells, or the specimen contains greater than 75% of obscuring debris, inflammation, or lubricant. The presence of any atypical or malignant cells is adequate for evaluation. For voided urine, greater than 30 ml contains any urethelial cells is adequate. For instrumented urine, two urethelial cells per hyper field or 2,600 cells is adequate for evaluation. NHGUC negative for high-grade urethelial carcinoma is a new diagnostic terminology and it includes a variety of situations that previously could be in a typical category. It includes benign urethelial glandular and squamous cells benign urethelial tissue fragments and urethelial sheets or clusters, changes associated with urolithiasis, viral thetopacity effect, especially polyoma virus, post-therapy effect including epithelial cells from urinary diversions and other benign findings. It is important to know this category well as some are close mimickers of atypical urethelial cells. We'll talk about this category in detail. Umbrella cells can be mono, bi, or multinucleated. Cytoplasm is dense or thick or vacuolated. Cell membrane is sharply demarcated, generally with one flat edge. The multinucleation is called endomitosis, which is caused by nuclear division without cytoplasmic division. Some umbrella cells can present as smaller cells with degenerated pycnotic nuclei mimic atypical cells. Glandular cells can be columnar or cuboidal, generally seen in instrumented urine. They may be derived from cystitis cystica at glandularis or female G1N tract. Renal tubular cells are small, generally poorly preserved with pycnotic and dark eccentric nuclei, and granular cytoplasm. They are easier to recognize when they form small clusters or casts. Seminovesical cells have enlarged hyperchromatic nuclei, high NC ratio, can also have prominent nucleoli mimicking high-grade urethelial cells. The presence of yellow-brown cytoplasmic lipofusion pigment and the sperm in the urine specimen are important clue in identification. They can also cause abnormal DNA ploidy measurement. Intermediate and basal cells often disquamate in clusters with stone infection or procedures. The cell cluster with urolithiasis can be two to three dimensional sphericals with smooth cytoplasmic contour. Intermediate cell clusters may have feathered appearance toward the periphery. These clusters can be abundant in instrumented urine, but can also be present in voided urine. When the clusters show no, no obvious cytological atypia and no fibrovascular course, they are considered pseudopapillary and should be classified in the NHGUC category. But a comment could be added that 
low-grade neoplasm cannot be ruled out without clinical correlation as urine cytology has low sensitivity in detecting low-grade urethelial neoplasm. Polyoma virus is widely present. The typical findings have been described as decoy cell, comet cell, or net cell with large homogeneous, opaque, or ground glass intranuclear inclusion. However, in different stage of infection, the cytopathological features may not be typical. When the viral particles leach out, chromatin may be coarse, mimicking high-grade urethelial cells. An atypical diagnosis may be rendered. BCG, mitomycin, and thiotepa may be intravesicularly administered. They cause inflammatory response, produce sloughing and degeneration of both benign and neoplastic epithelium. Mitomycin and thiotepa can cause nuclear enlargement, hyperchromasia, smudgy chromatin, degenerated or vacuolated cytoplasm. Most have low NC ratio. When they have a high NC ratio, they closely mimic high-grade urethelial cells. Systemically administered drugs such as cyclophosphamide and busulfan may also cause marked cellular abnormalities. Radiation effects are characterized by cytomegaly with nuclear enlargement, multinucleation, and abundant bicolated cytoplasm maintaining low NC ratio. Next diagnostic category is AUC, atypical urethelial cells. The diagnostic criteria are as follows. For non-superficial and non-degenerated cells with increased NC ratio of greater than 0.5 plus one of the following nuclear features, hyperchromasia or irregular clumpy chromatin or irregular nuclear membrane, More picture of AUC. Uh, they all show increased NC ratio. Some clusters show irregular nuclear membrane, some show nuclear hyperchromasia, some show irregular clumpy uh, chromatin. Next diagnostic category is HGUC, high grade urethelial carcinoma. Diagnostic criteria include NC ratio greater than 0.7 moderate to severe hyperchromasia, irregular nuclear membrane, coarse and clumped chromatin. Quantity also matters here. It needs at least five to 10 abnormal cells for HGUC. Other notable cytomorphological features include cellular pleomorphism, uh, prominent nucleoli, mitosis, and, necro uh, and necrosis, etc. Urinary cytology uh, has high sensitivity and specificity in detecting both high-grade papillary urethelial carcinoma and CIS. And the pictures show here demonstrate the nuclear feature of high NC ratio, hyperchromatic uh, nuclei, and nuclear pleomorphism, irregular clumpy chromatin, irregular nuclear membrane. Next category is SHGUC, suspicious for high-grade UC. The diagnostic criteria include increased NC ratio and hyperchromasia plus one of the following, irregular clumpy chromatin or irregular nuclear membranes. For NC ratio, TPS book use 0.5 to 0.7, which is similar to AUC category. However, uh, recent lectures from Dr. Wachek and Dr. Barkan used NC ratio of greater than 0.7, which is close to uh, HGUC category. I hope TPS 2.0 can better clarify the discrepancy. Uh, the quantity matters here. Uh, if only less than 10 abnormal cells, even though they meet the criteria for high-grade UC, they should be classified as SHGUC. 
And this is the diagnostic approach used by uh, Dr. Barkan. Uh, so uh, AUC is classified as mild atypia. Uh, HGUC and suspicious for hybrid UC are classified as severe atypia with similar nuclear features uh, but different quantity. NC ratio is an important diagnostic criteria in TPS. Studies have shown that human eyes are accurate in estimate NC ratio close to 0.7. However, it's much less accurate in NC ratio close to 0.5. This chart is helpful in training your eyes to estimate NC ratio. Next category is LGUN, low-grade urothelial neoplasia, which includes papilloma, pong lump, and low-grade urothelial carcinoma. The diagnostic criteria uh, include three-dimensional cell clusters with definitive fibrovascular cores. Studies have shown that cell block is helpful in identifying fibrovascular core. However, cell block is not routinely um, done in most practices. In our practice, uh, LGUN is a very difficult diagnosis without concurrent biopsy or cystoscopic correlation. The last category is other malignancies, including primary carcinomas, such as adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, or small cell carcinoma, and secondary malignancies, uh, including extension from adjacent organ like prostate uh, or renal cell carcinoma, and metastasis. A few examples here. Uh, the first picture shows adenocarcinoma with eccentrically placed irregular nuclei, uh, clumped and hyperchromatic chromatin with finely evacuated cytoplasm. The second picture shows a clear cell adenocarcinoma of the bladder with a hobnailed cell con configuration with abundant clear and evacuated cytoplasm and a centrally located nucleus and prominent nucleoli. Lymphoma and melanoma can also be seen in. This table illustrates the risk of high-grade urothelial carcinoma and clinical management for each diagnostic categories in TPS. One specific point to mention is the management of AUC, which has been a dilemma for urologists. AUC used to include a wide spectrum of benign to malignant conditions. Now under TPS, conditions like reactive inflammation, polyoma, urolithiasis, treatment-related changes are now classified in negative NHGUC category. AUC rate is lower in most practices uh, for uh, TPS. And AUC is a more serious diagnosis. Uh, another point to mention is the potential value of ancillary tests, like Eurovision FISH, especially in AUC and SHGUC category. Uh, I will briefly talk about our recent publication in Cancer Cytopathology. Dr. Xia and I worked together to implement the Paris system at Inform Diagnostics. Uh, we studied more than 27,000 cases on the impact of TPS implementation in our institution. We studied uh, diagnostic categories be two years before and after TPS implementation. Our data showed AUC decreased from 29 to 6.2%. We also break down a collection method. In weighted urine, AUC decreased from 27 to 6%, and in instrumented urine, AUC decreased from 37 to 9%. Both showed a 75% decrease. 
we also examined the Eurovision fish results and follow up surgical results when available in different urinary cytology diagnostic categories. AUC-associated with positive fish increased from 16.7% to 37.6%. AUC-associated with follow-up high-grade UC increased from 9% to 57%. This table showed the cytology performance in detecting urothelial carcinoma. The performance of AUC for detecting high-grade UC was significantly improved, as shown in the red font. The specificity was increased from 49 to 86%. Positive predictive value was improved from 9 to 39%, and the accuracy was improved from 50 to 85%. In conclusion, implementation of TPS resulted in a significant decrease in atypical diagnosis and a significant improvement in specificity and PPV in detecting high-grade UC. AUC was significantly better correlated with Eurovision results, which decreased Eurovision test request and saved medical cost. AUC should be considered a clinically relevant group and requires a more serious clinical workup in the TPS era. Lastly, urine cytology has low sensitivity in detecting low-grade UC. The sensitivity may be even lower in TPS. It is very important for urologists to understand the limitation of urinary cytology and the implications of the changes introduced by TPS to best manage and care for their patients. Uh, thank you very much.